Hello everyone and welcome back to the MedGuru CDB YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to go over some must-knows regarding the collagen disorders and collagen synthesis. So just a short reminder, I want everyone to know that your collagen fibers contain both hydroxylysine and hydroxyproline. So your collagen fibers contain hydroxylysine and hydroxyproline. Now, your collagen fibers are actually produced in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. If you remember the rough endoplasmic reticulum, these are associated with the ribosomes. So in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, collagen is actually secreted as a triple helix pro-collagen. So collagen fibers are produced in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and they are secreted as a triple helix pro-collagen. Now there is a very important cofactor which is your vitamin C or your ascorbic acid. For collagen synthesis, vitamin C is needed for cross-linking of your pro-collagen. Now I want everyone taking a biochemistry examination to memorize this by heart. The basic collagen structure, the amino acid sequence, is glycine XY. So it is glycine XY. Now, what is X and what is Y? So in the amino acid sequence, glycine XY, X is proline, while Y is hydroxy. So in the amino acid sequence, glycine X and Y, X and Y are proline and hydroxyproline. So X is proline, while Y is hydroxyproline. Now, there are different types of collagen, so let's start with type 1 collagen. Type 1 collagen is found abundantly in the somort supporting elements of high tensile strength, such as the bone. So type 1 collagen is found in the supporting elements of high tensile strength. The most abundant type of collagen is actually type 1. The most common type of collagen is type 1 collagen. Now, collagen type 1 is found abundantly in the bone, and the clinical disorder which results from a defect in type 1 collagen is your famous osteogenesis imperfecta. Osteogenesis imperfecta is also known as brittle bone disease. This presents with the famous repeated fractures and your blue sclerae. So osteogenesis imperfecta results from a defect in type 1 collagen it presents with a history of multiple fractures or recurrent fractures and on physical exam you have the blue sclerae so don't forget a pro collagen defect is also associated with osteogenesis imperfecta now type 1 collagen is also found in the tendons and your fascia. So type 1 collagen is also found in the tendons and the fascia. So if we put this together, you have the bones, the tendons, and the fascia. Now, type 2 collagen is found in your cartilage. So don't forget this famous mnemonics, cartilage. Type 2 is cartilage or cartilage. So aside from your cartilage, type 2 collagen is also found in the intervertebral disc 
what you see here in this illustration, as well as your nucleus pulposus. Don't forget, when you have a herniated disc, it's actually the nucleus pulposus which will herniate posterolaterally, impinging your nerves. Type 2 collagen is also found in your vitreous humor. So if we summarize type 2, we have cartilage, we have the nucleus pulposus and intervertebral discs, as well as your vitreous humor. Now type 2 collagen is also found in the decimates membrane. So this area here, there, that green area that is your decimates membrane that is also type 2 collagen now what about type 3 collagen this is found abundantly in your reticular fibers you also see type 3 collagen in granulation tissue or in healing wounds as well as scar tissue and don't forget the specific cell that makes the wound contract. This is your famous myofibroblast. And type 3 collagen is abundant in your blood vessels. Type 4 collagen, this is abundantly found in the basement membrane. So just remember this tip, type four, four sounds like floor. The bottom floor of a building is the basement. So type four, collagen is the basement membrane. Now, there's a disease, which is actually a combination of type three and type five collagen. This is your Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So this, is, this results from a defect in your collagen synthesis. You have hyperelasticity of your skin, as you can see in this picture, easy bruisability, and hypermobility of your joints. Now, type 4 collagen, as we mentioned earlier, is the basement membrane. So right here, this is your basement membrane. Clinical pearl is your Alport syndrome. Alport syndrome results from a mutation in your type 4 collagen, which is the basement membrane of the kidneys. And it presents with hereditary deafness as well as nephritis. So please memorize this. Alport syndrome presents with hereditary deafness and nephritis. And this results from a genetic mutation of your type 4 collagen, which is found in the basement membrane. So I hope you're able to pick up the collagen synthesis and collagen disorders pearls. This should be helpful in any examination. This is Doc Toom saying thank you for watching the MedGuru CDB YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and God bless.